What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. My boots are clean. Uh, I have realized that I, I, I got home today from work and I cleaned my boots because today's gonna be the last day I'm working for a while because school's starting, so I'm not gonna be working for a couple weeks to get my footing, I guess. Um, and then once school starts, I'm going to be, uh, what? You know, once once I get, once I get my footing, I, uh, I'm gonna start working again. Uh, I am very, very lucky to have such flexible hours. I can just sort of show up whenever, and it's great. Um, you know, a lot of jobs, you can't do that. Uh, I just realized I only show you guys my boots when they're clean, <laughs> so they sort of always look like this. Uh, but I swear they were really dirty. Um, I also removed the core from the paracord, um, so it's still... Um, it's still reflect like that uh, in headlights or something like that, uh, but it's not as thick. You may wonder, oh, why are you putting paracord on your boots if you remove the core? Isn't the core the whole point of paracord? And sure it is, but you know, in a scenario where you're in an emergency and you need to use paracord, there is almost a 100% chance, now I'm, I'm not big on betting, right? But there's almost a 100% chance that this emergency that you're in, well, for some reason my monitors are super sideways, um, there's almost a 100% chance that in you're in an emergency where you would need paracord, you definitely need your shoes more, you know? I mean, what, like, what, am I going to be camping without shoes? Like, I, you know, I don't, what, you're, the only reason why I'm putting this, these paracord on my boots is for reflectivity, you know, the reflective tracers. Uh, you know, when I'm walking, you know, it's just good insurance, you know? Um, for cars, you know, when it's dark. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm not, like, uh, it's not great survival, like, survivalist, uh, pr like, praxis, I guess, to have, um, paracord with cores in your boots. And it's just super hard to tie. I've had to triple tie these. I'll probably still have to triple tie these. It's just gonna be a lot easier. Uh, and yeah, they're also an inch, uh, six, six inches longer, five inches longer, uh, because I've been triple tying them. So yeah, I'm just hanging out today. Um, I woke up at, oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, I woke up at five. Um, and then I got ready, left at 6.30. Uh, my mom drove me very nicely. Um, and yeah, I showed up to work. Um, I pretty much organized the buckets of bolts. Uh, and then I just, yeah, and then I uh, vacuumed up a river model that we have um, because my boss is gonna do some masonry, masonry on it. Um, and there's a bunch of water, so you use a shop vac with a wet um, wet filter. So you, that's how you vacuum up the water. Um, and then after that, I found like just a whole, like we have like 400 fender washers in the lab. Uh, I don't know why, like a bunch of quarter inch fender washers. Super strange. Uh, I just opened up, the, they're like sealed boxes of them. And so I just opened them up and I put them in the drawers in the fender washer section in the drawers and you know, pack full of quarter inch fender washers now. So we have an, functionally an infinite supply of quarter inch fender washers. Um, there's also a bunch of five, Five eighths fender washers, um, and a whole bunch of oh maybe three eighths fender washers maybe I think I think that was it, um, and a whole bunch of quarter inch bolt, uh, quarter inch nuts, uh, and it was super weird. I, I just uh, right behind me where I was working on the big bolts, um, there's just collections of like screws and nails and stuff and like places where there isn't a phenomenal place to put them yet, uh, and. <clears throat> Nails, it's kind of where they go, but screws, not really. Um, screws sort of, there's not really a place to put screws. And uh, so, um, we, uh, I, I was sort of just looking around, I turned around and I just saw all these boxes. So I, I just set them up. Uh, but yeah, you know, other than that, I'm just hanging out. Um, yeah, I don't know, nothing else, nothing else really happened. Uh, you know, I worked on the bolts for a little longer. Um, oh, I had this weird, like, sort of vision in my head. Um, a vision is the lack of a better term. It wasn't a vision. I wasn't seeing things. It wasn't hallucinations at all. 
but um, I was sort of envisioning these things in my mind. Uh, I don't know if I was just getting dehydrated or if it was like the concrete dust in the air. Of course I was wearing a respirator, but you know, who knows, um, or what. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure where this came from, but I was thinking of like, you know, uh, I don't really, I don't really swear all that much. It just never entered my vocabulary that much. Um, you know, I, I, I don't swear as much as like, uh, average 18 year old, I guess, but, um, you know, I, I, you know, I was, I don't know how this came up, but I was thinking about swear words and, uh, it, it was strange. There's like the, I was thinking about the usage of swear words and I was thinking like, I was envisioning a word in my head that described the usage of swear words. Like, uh, a synonym would be almost vulgar, vulgarity, but it wasn't a vulgarity. It, like, that's not what it meant, but you know, but I did, I wasn't sure what it meant. Um, and I was very, I, I, in my head, I could see the shape of the word. It was like, sort of the shape of like a decisiveness or something. I knew there was a ness at the end of it, but I could see the shape of the word but I couldn't see the letters. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was sort of just near the end of the day, last hour or so, maybe last half an hour, maybe about, um, I was just sort of seeing this word in my head. It was kind of blurry. Um, and it, it was, uh, like a word and it's, and it's sort of, definition was the usage of swear words, right? Um, and whenever I would think of a swear word, this shape would pop in my head and it would be the shape of a word and it would have that definition, but I wasn't sure what the word was, right? Um, and it wasn't decisiveness, but it was sort of shaped like that. Um, and it was just so weird. Um, and sometimes I would be like throwing bolts into the buckets, you know, because I was organizing them and you can throw bolts, it's fine. Um, I would realize that the sound sort of, when I heard the sound of the bolts falling into the buckets, the word popped into my head, like how when I thought of the usage of a swear word, um, that shape of that word popped into my head. So like the sounds of bolts falling into buckets was also the same shape of this word. This is probably not going anywhere. <laughs> um, I uh, will probably look back at this and be like, what are, what are you talking about, you know, but um, I just thought that was really interesting, and I, I don't know what was up with it. So, um, yeah. all right. See you, dude.